On air, online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. Toledo Public Schools is heading back to the voters. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. The TPS board voted tonight to place a 7.8 mil levy on the November ballot. The board says it has no choice but to ask the public for more money. The district is looking at a $44 million deficit for next year. A levy would generate about 21 million of that annually, but even if voters approve the measure, the district will still have to make 11 million in cuts. The cuts that we have made this year to balance our budget uh, were very, very deep. I cannot imagine cutting uh, very much more than that without uh, just seriously affecting the quality of education to the kids uh, in our district. Now this levy would cost the owner of a $100,000 home about $240 a year. Vasquez says this levy will not restore any of the previous cuts. With so much on the line for TPS, some parents are concerned about the future of the district and their children's education. Tiffany Tarpley is live with their reaction to the district's bottom line. Well, the people I spoke to tonight aren't happy about the way things are going. They admit TPS has some tough choices, and so do parents. Players on the Mid-City Football League are running drills at Wilson Park in North Toledo, preparing for the upcoming season. Carter Coley is one of the coaches and also a parent and grandparent to three Toledo Public School students. If they don't have nothing to do in the schools, then that's when you start having a lot of these gangs getting together. Coach Coley says he knows all about the trouble kids can get into when there isn't anything to do, and he does his best to keep his children away from those negative influences. Coley thinks things should be a lot better for TPS, but despite the challenges, he's willing to support another levy. Right now, I think that uh, they should, you know, do what they got to do to keep things going. We're already, you know, deep in a hole, so um, I'm kind of like undecided with that. April Sneed has two children who attend TPS, and she's not sure if she'll support the 7.8 mil levy in November. And this mother says when it comes to funding the district, she doesn't see much of a future for the school system. There's things being cut out every year. Um, with the charter schools, they're offering more, so it's kind of like a competition. You would rather have your child in charter school now than TPS because they have these things for them, and TPS no longer offers that. I want my kids to, go to, to get a good education. I don't want them to just push these kids through. TPS Board President Bob Vasquez says not only is the levy a top priority right now, but he is also calling on a cross-section of community leaders to help fix the district's problems. Reporting live, Tiffany Tarpley, Fox Toledo News. Over the next two years, I think just about everybody in Ohio is going to go through the pain that the, the Toledo's going through now. The man who will lead the TPS levy campaign, new Superintendent Jerome Pecco, has signed his contract. It's a three-year deal that pays $175,000 annually. However, that salary is tied to goals for the district, including improving the graduation rate and the district's grade card from the state. Pecco, who officially begins August 1st, says he wants to work with school leaders to put together a campaign that thoroughly communicates what is going on with TPS finances. Because of the district's budget issues, there will be transportation cuts next year. Elementary and middle school children who live closer than two miles from school can't ride the bus to and from school. This action brings back $950,000. Also, high school transportation is done. The cut in that service saves the district more than $1.1 million. But some parents are uneasy about these changes. Some parents don't have cars or some parents don't are not able to walk their kids to school and therefore their young children are walking to school by themselves and anything can happen. In all, TPS will save about two and a half million dollars from transportation cuts. That brings us to our feedback question. How will transportation cuts at TPS affect your family? Bonnie writes, my son attends Toledo Early College High School, which doesn't provide transportation anyway. So personally, this won't affect me, but I see a rise in truancy and a drop in graduation rates coming. Andy emails, I simply worry about what a two-mile walk in single-digit temperatures will mean for my kids' health. My, my children will have a several-block walk. Your feedback is still welcome, by the way, via Facebook, Twitter, or email.